All right, today, before we get to these shenanigans here, I uh, just wanted to, oh, dude, we, we hit the goal, $1,501. You have no idea how awesome that is. That helps me out so freaking much. Uh, in this time where uh, I was very unsure about my financial future and the, you know, the, the future of the channel, the future of everything, uh, you guys came together and you really helped me out. And there'll be a future video or, or uh, announcement on the, uh, the winners of the RAM. I just haven't had time to kind of gather my thoughts on it. There's a lot of stuff that went on with this whole GoFundMe thing but uh, we hit our goal super crazy awesome and I got a job uh, officially today that uh, is going to uh, kind of give me time uh, because there's a night shift involved to where I'm going to be home during the, the day until the night shift starts that will allow me to keep the YouTube channel going and ultimately the YouTube channel is always going to be my priority like the priority is to get it to a point where it will self-sustain itself and we're you know we build this community of amazing people we have a discord of like over 30 of you guys who watch discord being a, a, a chat like place where you can go in and even voice chat or text chat amongst all the Timmy Joe fans and talk about computers and cool stuff like that there's so many awesome people on there thanks so much check out links in the description if you want to check out the discord and if you guys want to send me old hardware I've had some people send me some really cool stuff uh, over the last little bit that's gonna help with uh, keeping the channel going some builds I'm looking for some old stuff like uh, 386 286 like Pentium era stuff or maybe even before that like I'd love to check out uh, Commodore or Atari or any old computers you might have give me an email me at timmyjoe.com but uh, that's enough for that let's get to the video today where we, we get this with this stuff going because that was it, was it was fun and it's gonna help me get things rolling why there what's up um, what's going on guys my name is Timmy Joe make videos about computers on the internet today we're working on probably the beigest machine I own this is my Windows 98 PC circa 1999 this is an AMD Duron system that I picked up uh, for like 40 bucks I think with a bunch of other stuff uh, but it has a 700 megahertz Duron in it which is a single core very slow processor from about 1999 it uses DDR1 memory which is nice uh, and uh, you know what we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do some upgrades to it because I need it to do some benchmarking on AGP video cards this would be a uh, 9800 Pro got all these cards over here there's at least uh, four four different AGP ones I want to have a look at and I might end up only doing you know a couple but uh, you know I need the machine to do it with and this thing fits the bills and I have from that group of old hardware that I got uh, some upgrade options that might work for this. Uh, stuff like this. What's this? The Sempron? Athlon. This is probably the chip I'm going to use to upgrade this machine. It's an Athlon, I believe. It's like, uh, like 1200 megahertz, something like that. We'll see if this works. There's another option too. Uh, we're also going to put some better memory in it because I think it's only got uh, not even half a gig of, yeah. Let's open it up and we'll check it out. And then the video card that's in it is, uh, boom. Ah, this, uh, see, memory. Look at this old gross cooler. This is an ATI Rage. Uh, this card is used to put your, you know, your cable signals from your television into the computer, which is pretty cool. It's got a Sound Blaster, uh, Sound Blaster Live sound card in it too so pretty cool system here I, I just wanted to see if I could upgrade it with some of the parts I got before I start getting rid of stuff so pretty sure where did I put I had uh, there we go screwdriver we'll go ahead and oh we're already halfway there the I port for digital display and I had to fix this up because it kept overheating uh, because there's just no adequate cooling on these things and uh, what I, I did here is I put a much better fan on the heatsink, and I'm hoping that that's going to fix that issue. So, yeah, 512. This is some nice OCZ RAM. This is like crazy expensive stuff at the time. I remember looking for 
uh, RAM at the time for upgrade, and this stuff always just seems so unattainable. Put it in right? Or is this, am I wrong on what, it is not the same kind of RAM. So this is SD RAM. Huh. figured it out. You gotta have the RAM in the right slots and I took the RAM out and I put it in two and three and it's gotta be in one, two. So I just reverted everything back to stock and it still wouldn't boot and I was like, what did I do wrong? And that's what the problem was. So let's revert everything back and maybe we'll replace one thing at a time, starting with the video card. Beep. Go to 100 megahertz and we're rocking and rolling. Beep. Oh, shit. Holy Christmas, as usual, old hardware like this does give you a bit of trouble. Actually, I can't complain. This thing, the um, errors that I was getting are mainly my fault. Uh, that being uh, putting the RAM back in properly really threw me through a loop for a second. Was worried something major was wrong with the computer when I know it booted up. It runs Windows 98. It now has an XP Athlon XP uh, 2100 in it, which is a 1.7 gigahertz processor, which is a whole gigahertz faster than the original uh, Duran 700 that was running in it. And uh, if anyone out there has any old hardware, I'd love uh, SD RAM, older stuff like in this generation, or even older, like I'd love a 2, 3, 486. Uh, something shippable might be nice, but I know they're old beasts, like I don't know, maybe a laptop or some, some something would be pretty cool uh, from like the Pentium era. Uh, or even like Commodore 64, I'd love to delve into, but as as for this, uh, it's got SD RAM and I could, it could use a little bit of an upgrade there, but it seems to be running fairly swimmingly. And the whole point of this is to get the Radeon 9800 working. I got a driver on there. Uh, it's really hard to use the internet on this thing, even though it does connect to a network. Uh, the latest uh, web browser that works with it is uh, Firefox like from 1999 or something, or no, from 2009, I should say. But yeah, the, the video card's working, the processor's working, and uh, it's, a, it's a fast beast now, uh, which will help with testing the uh, limits on these AGP video cards. So let's go ahead, we'll fire up Duke Nukem, because that's something you gotta do. We'll see how easy and fast this loads, considering, you know, we're on old stuff here. This is, uh, you know, an 80, uh, gig hard drive IDE and it's running SD RAM and you know we got a sound blaster in there oh yeah you better get your bubble gum ready because we got Duke Nukem running in DOS mode in 98 that's why I wanted to do this uh, you know so that you could get kind of the authentic experience with some of the modern you know takes things that uh, Windows 98 brings and it allows you to run you know your sound blaster and, and it kind of recognizes a lot of stuff a lot easier when you do it this way but if I want to fire in on into DOS it's totally easy and possible and then you know I have the next uh, best thing uh, after this is the XP computer we were just working with and uh, you know of course I've got lots of stuff beyond that but if yeah anyone wants to send me older hardware I'd be very interested to do some basic and on a Commodore 64 if you have anything lying around I'd be happy to take donations me at Timmy joe.com you can send an email there tell me what you got and we'll see if uh, it's worth showing on the show i want to thank everyone for helping me meet my gofundme goal uh we'll be announcing some prizes and stuff very very soon it's been a very busy time and i've been trying to get videos done and uh just kind of get some of this stuff prepared so i hope you don't mind the vloggy style nature of this stuff as we uh, move along but uh i'm at watch to me join instagram and twitter i would gladly still accept uh, I'm thinking maybe of just doing a Patreon in the, in the near future for the channel because there's lots of people out there that want to help and donate. But uh, yeah, if you want to still go donate on the GoFundMe, um, I I'll be setting up some new prizes soon, but I'll still take entries on the existing prizes. Uh, you know, as well as, you, you know, if you just want to toss five or ten bucks, if you're a regular viewer, 
Uh, you don't need to send me 25 or 50 or $75. Uh, you know, any little bit helps. And what I'm going to start doing is I actually got a job now uh, as doing some IT and some stuff at a, a, a truck dealership. I don't want to get too much into that because I don't want to spoil anything there. But uh, that, that, that will and will not limit me because I'll have, uh, I'm actually going to be working night shifts. So I should be able to get YouTube videos done. But uh, in the interim, I'm going to work very hard to keep the channel going. And the end goal is always to get to a point to where the YouTube channel is self-sustaining. And that's my job so I can turn videos out and, uh, you know, keep making content for you guys. So anything you want to send me, let me know. And uh, there's a Discord server now. Links in the description. Uh, you can always go to timmyjoe.com. All the links are there for my like Amazon stuff too. If you want to buy some stuff on Amazon, it helps me if you buy through my links. There's always stuff in the description. And I thank so much for coming along with this little journey of putting a better processor and video card in this thing. And upcoming will be uh, some benchmarks and a slew of things on a Radeon 9800 Pro, which I'm very excited for. So I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you very much. I'm Addy 5000.